We talk a lot about manifesting a specific person, how to get the relationship you want, how to make your specific person show up the way you want them to. But we don't do a whole lot of videos on what to do once you have them. And this is a question I'm seeing come up a lot recently, so I definitely wanted to address that for you in this episode of Roxy Talks. Stay tuned. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I am Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you'd like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching so we can discuss your specific issues, you can sign up at roxytalks.com. We've also got exclusive merch, podcasts, and more. That's all at roxytalks.com. You can also join me on social media. I am on TikTok. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now, before we get into this video, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. So what do you do when you finally get the relationship that you have been manifesting? What do you do when your manifestation finally arrives? Because once that happens, you have a whole new host of insecurities, doubts, fears, worries, whatever, that are going to come about because now that you've achieved the thing that you want, what happens if you lose it, right? So now we have new worries that you never even knew you would ever have. And that goes for relationships too, because a lot of times when people are manifesting their specific person, they're focusing so much on getting them or getting them back or even becoming the version of them that they need to be in order to manifest that relationship that they end up getting into the situation as Shallon Lester, one of my favorite YouTubers likes to say, you're like a dog chasing a car. What happens when you catch it? right? So the idea of, okay, now this relationship is here. Oh shit. <laughs> How do I behave? How do I be a person? How do I be a normal human being? Well, first things first, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you have been doing this process diligently. You've been taking this time of social hibernation and you have turned your attention inward. You're focusing on yourself, looking at what your patterns are, what your cycles are, looking at what it is that you are trying to ease within you in your search for love or whatever from the outside world. Because we've all had this amazing opportunity to really get crystal clear on this process and hunker down, do the work, turn this into a practice that by the time your person comes around and you get your relationship, you should be very good now at listening to, monitoring, catching, and flipping your thoughts, okay? Any of your negative thoughts that do not align with the new reality that we are embodying, the new version of us that we want to be, whenever you have those thoughts, you should be shutting them down. This should be a practice for you, right? If you've been successful through the process of manifesting your person, you understand that all those thoughts that go on in your head, all those little moments of having to tell the truth, just telling it like it is just really quick. Let me just real, just let me just actually tell you what's going on just for a second though. Those moments keep you where you're at. You are shifting in between parallel realities so fast in every single second that you don't even realize it. Okay. You're shifting into the new reality it happens instantaneously. The moment you begin in perceiving a new reality, thinking of something different than what you're already experiencing, you're shifting there. The problem is, is that in that same second, that same breath, that same declaration of what you want, you shut it down immediately and tell yourself why it's not going to be easy for you or why it's going to take a long time or why it probably won't work out for you because I don't know, are they going to like someone else? Are you even good enough? Are you cool enough? Do you look good enough? Do you have something interesting to say? Do you have enough money? Is there somebody else they're stuck inside with right now that isn't you that's getting all of their attention. The second you give those thoughts and fears and worries, any bit of your attention, you start to like, Ooh, actually, but yeah, you go right back into the reality that you're trying to run away from the one that you're trying to escape. So this is why it's extremely important that you make sure you're flipping every single one of those thoughts, fears, worries, insecurities, and doubts before they have a chance to make you go, you know what? Actually, hold on a minute, because that's when you go right back. If those things pop up in your head and you're just like, eh, they just dissolve. They just, they, you don't, 
manifest things that you don't give attention to. So be sure that you are only giving attention to the thoughts that align with your ideal relationship, okay? So this should be a practice for you by now. And now that you are actually in the relationship that you've been manifesting, what you're going to be doing now is maintenance. It's the same concept. You're going to be listening for those thoughts. You're going to be listening for the, okay, oh, I hope he likes me or I hope I'm good enough. I hope I live up to what I've been telling him in my mind. I hope that he still sees me this way or I hope that she still thinks the way that I told her to think when I was manifesting her. Now that they're here, ooh, now what? What do I do? Okay, okay, okay. Gotta be normal. Don't be awkward. Okay, gotta say the right thing. Okay, whoo, whoo, whoo. Okay, okay. They're gonna like me. They're gonna like they're, you know, yeah. What if they like me? What if I said something stupid? What if they don't like my house? What if they don't like my family? When the new stuff starts coming in, when the new fears, the new ideas, the new worries of loss start coming to you, that's when you are still doing the process you've already been doing, so nothing should really be changing. To be honest with you, the reason why I don't make much of these videos is because, well, I assume that by the time you get to this point after manifesting your person successfully, you are well versed in the practice of keeping your mind where it needs to be, listening for little moments of, of old realities peeping through and shutting them down immediately and then going right back into where we were, which is happy, healthy, whole relationship land. But I see that if this isn't something that you fully adopted, if you haven't made this your lifestyle, if you aren't making yourself be your own affirmation state throughout the day when you have time to think and your mind is idle and you are just billowing on and spiraling on and just kind of droning on in your mind with affirmations that describe the reality that you want to live in, then you might find yourself allowing doubts to creep in. Even if you do get the thing that you want, if you don't deal with the mechanism doing the manifesting, which is me, which is you, then you can still have these things come back because the discipline that keeps them at bay is not built up, okay? So this is why I teach this 360 method because it's everywhere in your life, top to bottom, front to back, inside and out. It's all of your thoughts all of the time, whether you're awake or whether you're asleep. It's every single subject of your life, not just your specific person, not just your self-esteem, but every single place because those things permeate throughout your story. It's not just in one place, okay? So if you have found yourself in a situation where you've manifested your person, now what? We don't know how to behave or how to act or how to keep it going. What I suggest for you is to write out a new story, write out a new script that describes where we're headed now. Now that we have the relationship that we want, how does it unfold from here? How do they treat us on a daily basis? How do we interact? What is our dynamic? What is their love language compared to ours? How do we communicate? How do we handle disagreements? Get really clear on this story and then, just like when you are manifesting them to begin with, you be that version now. It all starts with you. It has to start with you because your world is perpetuated by your awareness and your consciousness. So in that case, if that's who you want to be, then that's the only version of you that you need to be aware of. Meaning that your thoughts, your awareness, your consciousness need to match up with the dominant thoughts, dominant awareness, dominant consciousness. You can say 51% if you want to really break it down. The ideas of the version of you that's got what you want, okay? Now I'm not saying just go 51%, okay? We know that's still an F technically, right? But it is the tipping point, okay? So start at 51%. That should be first base, 51%, because at least we're moving the momentum in the opposite direction, okay? Now you want to start making progress. We need to be attacking every single thought, fear, worry, doubt, insecurity that comes on your mind. So start your new story. Get really clear on who it is you're going to be now that you have your relationship. And just a side note, if you are somebody who is manifesting a person they haven't gotten here yet... Doing this exercise will work for you as well, being the version of you that's in that relationship. That's what I teach. So you don't have to get to this point first in order to start writing that story, okay? So you can do that now. Anybody can do that now. You can do this with money, job, career, self-esteem, manifesting, whatever it is. You can do this now. Now that it's here, right in this moment, we've got exactly what we want. How does it unfold from this point forward, okay? So in your relationship story, get very clear on what it is you want, what your dynamic is between the two of you, how your relationship plays out, and then you be that actively every single day. You have to actively be it, okay? So that's what is required in order for you to step into that reality and stay there for longer than a millisecond. So I want you to comment down below, my relationships unfold exactly the way I say they do. My relationships unfold exactly the way I say they do, or 
My relationship is unfolding exactly the way I expect it to. My relationship is unfolding exactly the way I expect it to. Go on a rampage. My partner and I have an amazing bond. We treat each other with respect. We have an amazing, loving connection. We always include each other. We always consider each other. We speak openly. We share our feelings. We share our values. We lift each other up. We put each other on a pedestal equally. We love ourselves and we love each other. Our relationship is growing every single day. Every day we're learning how to be with each other and be the couple that helps each other grow in every single moment and it's just getting more beautiful by the day. And then be that you now so that your world can show up to you like that. It can't be the other way around. It just does not work that way. The sooner you abandon the idea that it starts there and then goes in here, the sooner that you abandon the idea that things start out there and then come here, the sooner you'll be able to have a handle on your life. The sooner you realize it does not matter what happens in your 3D world. It's always what's going on in here that makes your life turn out the way it does, you will stop letting yourself think thoughts that don't work for you because why? Really, honestly, why? Why? Why are you doing that to yourself? What emotional payout are you getting from thinking these thoughts repeatedly? Ask yourself that and then make yourself stop thinking them in the moment when you notice yourself having them. We do not criticize. We do not judge. We just notice it, shut it down, and replace it. The replacement is very, very important, okay? Tomorrow's video, we'll talk about that process in depth, so make sure you check back. I've also got a brand new updated Manifesting a Specific Person workshop coming to you guys. This is gonna be really soon, like within the next week or two. We've been working really hard to update this workshop. It is something that people really love. They get a lot of value from it, and I wanted it to be able to be something that people can start digesting right away. As I said in my other videos, my calendar is just too booked out, and I can't get to these things right away, and right now, I know people have time on their hands to work on this, so we are frantic behind the scenes, getting this workshop out to you. It will be out within the next week, two at the very latest. So make sure you check back. And if you've ever purchased the workshop before, in the past and attended the class, you will have access to it for free automatically. And anyone that is signed up for a future class will also have access right away. Now, I am only selling the current structure, which is an intimate three-person workshop where you get to work directly with me until the new system launches. So that could be in a week. And that's it. So if you've ever wanted to get in on the intimate class, the two hour block of time where I really teach this information directly to you, sign up ASAP because the new stuff is rolling out. And once it's out, the access that you will have to me will be in more of a group setting, a little bit more like Mindset Monday, but probably on Zoom. So probably what a lot of students are experiencing right now. And this way I will be able to help more people and get you more information because it's going to be a lot more in depth than what I can do in a two hour class. So I'm really excited to get this out to you. I think it's going to be super beneficial. We've all been really excited watching it and putting it together because we know that it's going to help transform your love lives and your relationships and of course help you manifest the person that you are interested in. Now I do have a free masterclass that you can check out right now. The link is in the description below. You can also sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me so we can discuss exactly how you can maintain the relationship that you have manifested. You can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching at roxytalks.com. I've also got exclusive merch, podcasts, and more. That's all at Roxy Talks. Com. Don't forget to join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society, which is a great community for like-minded people who are helping each other manifest. All of those links are in the description below. You can also join me on social media. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday at noon-ish PST for Q&A, and I've got brand new videos out every Tuesday through Friday. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible, and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.